This screencast looks into how to add a map without root, including calibration, to 3D rerun. Okay, we first go to add map without root. We have to log in to uh, add a map to 3D rerun. Log in. Upload map from the local computer. Choose a file. Uh, I have uh, saved the file from the scanner as uh, bedrift milde map only. Open. We upload it. Takes a little bit of time. Okay, there we have the map. So the competition name is uh, bedriftsløp milde. 25th of uh, May. Uh, I already have another one with the same name because I uploaded the map without the width root as a demo. Competition date it is the 25th of May. The map is not private and go on to calibrating the map. Okay so here we have uh, the map to the right and we have a map of Europe to the left. So I will search for Bergen, Norway and jump there, here, and uh, there are different map types here, map, satellite, hybrid, start cut. Uh, for Norway we have uh, a special map service which is uh, better than Google Maps, but if you're not in Norway you have to use the satellite or hybrid uh, version. Be a bit careful if you use the hybrid or a satellite version that uh, it's not always that the satellite is better than the roads so you have to check out what's the best so now we will uh, go to the area where uh, the map is it's a bit slow here just now just have to, uh, to find it there we are This is the same uh, lake as we had there. So I I need three points on the map which are as far away from each other as possible. So uh, I will take one point here which uh, should be this road crossing down here. So I will identify the same point both on, uh, on the orienteering map and on the map here if I can find it. Here we are. The road crossing is here and here. Then we take another point which should be a point up here, maybe this road crossing. If we can identify that here. There we are, here and here, and a third point, I think this one should be good, although I would have had it even further away if possible, but it should be good enough. So here and here. Now the map is calibrated. I can click on points on one map and check on the other. So for example I can uh, click here and check if I hit. Yes, it looks very good. I can uh, take part of the house here, also looks good. The uh, end of this road here, or the road cross. Yeah, we have a small miss here, but might be an inaccuracy just there. Here again, also a small miss. So probably this point down here is not the best point. But uh, I think that for now we have a small, small offset of maybe 10-15 meters. Uh, and we definitely see that this is the point which is not good on the map. So uh, we are just unhappy that this point here isn't correct on the orienteering map. But it's uh, good enough for our purposes. We are maybe 10-15 meters off. Okay, so now we just add the calibrated map to 3D Rerun up here. 
We could test this in Google Earth, but I won't do that because we I'm satisfied enough. Add calibrated map, and we can click here to access the map in 3D rerun. And uh, there we are. It's here as it should be. And uh, just to check it, we can uh, add a route from the database. We can take the one I added earlier from the bedrift slope. And we see that uh, I am at uh, the same place approximately as I was on, uh, on the other map. Just to check the two maps against each other, uh, I can take here the other map and this map. And uh, there is a small offset, but uh, we are very close with the two different calibrations. So if I used a little bit of more time, I could have done it even better, but for uh, most analysis, it's uh, good enough the way we've got it now. So we go back to the main menu, and uh, thank you for uh, following.